Check out this chick right here. Hello, name is Kyle and welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, please consider liking and subscribing. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about our favorite Olympian, Miss Gwen Berry. Woohoo! Oh, wait, 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 she failed to medal at the Olympics? Oh, dude, come on, man. So, if you don't know, you probably should know, this is the one that turned her back on the flag and got super duper woke at the US qualifying event. And uh, we pretty much went after her and gave her the riot act. And now she didn't even medal at the Olympics. You see, I can make this video into the fact that if you're woke, you can't compete at the highest level. So with that in mind, before even reading this article, because you probably don't even care, I'm gonna go ahead and say this. If you're woke, okay, let's say this. All right, let's just do this. Right. You're at this level in terms of your ability to compete. Let's say you're the US women's soccer team, all right? But you're here, all right? You're team A, whatever team you are, team B, whatever. You're not quite at the American's level, okay? If America plays at their highest level, they are going to win every single time, give or take, you know, nuances of soccer, anything can happen, right? However, we're talking about the Olympics, okay? So, at the Olympics, teams play at a higher level. Just generally, go back and look at teams that have the host Olympics. They generally fare a lot better at home. Why? I guess because the patriotism, the, you know, the, the, they want to do well, they're in front of their friends and family. It elevates them to a level that they probably would never have been. Okay, so follow me again. So America's here, Team B's here, all right? All of a sudden, they're playing at the Olympics. They're going to be higher, regardless of whether or not they're playing at home or not. doesn't matter. If America doesn't up their game, guess what happens? You can very well lose. You can very well lose. But what if this country here, America, doesn't love their country as much? They're not going to play as well, regardless, okay? So for them to actually beat this person here, they're going to have to up their game despite their animosity for their country. That's my theory. I think I'm seeing that with the U.S. men's basketball team. I think they're so much better than everyone else. They can pretty much win in their sleep, even with the competition they're having out now, but they're just trying harder. But they're playing much more difficult competition because they're allowing their, in my opinion, their hatred of America and their coach Popovich, who is pretty much an American-hating Marxist, no doubt, no doubt. And he's playing to their level, and of course, they're not playing quite as well, but they're still skating by. Women's soccer team couldn't afford that, and I think that's happening across the board. If you hate this country, you're not gonna play at the highest level, especially at the Olympics when they're trying their best. You are leveling the playing field. And so, here you have Gwen Berry, whatever her name is, US Olympian, hammer thrower, who turned away from the American flag during the playing the national anthem, failed to medal during the finals on Tuesday. Well, good. Berry finished in 11th, <laughs> 11th place. Okay, I didn't read, uh, yeah. I didn't prep this article prior to, so here we go. Barry finished in 11th place out of 12 competitors registering a distance of 71.35 meters, which means nothing to me. So I don't have much more to say from this article. Let's hear what it says here. She says, I feel like I was set up and they did it on purpose, Barry said, of the anthem being played. I was pissed, to be honest. And this is before, this is at the qualifying. So out of that national anthem, debacle we did a video on why the star spangled banner is not racist go check that video out i'll leave a link right here check it out i go through the history of that and why brandon scott key's national anthem is not a racist song or a poem for that matter so anyway so she doubled down after that saying that it was so i said well no it's not so i did a video on that so check it out for yourself and let me know your thoughts on that and then we have this gem of a tweet that she put out here. I'm not even going to read the tweet, but you can see it for yourself here. So this person is just a fine young individual. Again, you can see it for yourself. But here's who we really should be celebrating. These fine young ladies, not the sour bronze medalist who hates America. She even went on to say, I never said I hated the country, says the U.S. hammer thrower after turning from the flag. She said, I never said I hated the country, never said that. All I was, was I respect my people enough to not stand or acknowledge something that disrespects them. I love my people, point blank, period. 
Let me read that again. I never said that I hated the country. Never said that. All I said was I respect my people enough to not stand or acknowledge something that disrespects them. I love my people point blank period. Okay. That statement right there means you hate America. That right there says that my people, your people are American, which means your people who are, I'm assuming black people, every other person in this country, that's not brown skinned. You don't consider them your people. So there by definition, you hate this country. Pull out your $1 bill and look in the back of it. It says El Plurus Unum, which means out of many one, which means we are a melting pot. We are all Americans if we all fall into the ideas of America. Since you don't do that, by definition, you don't like America. And that is what I try to get to the thick skulls of some of these leftists who say, we, we, we actually love America. Well, no, you don't love America because you love your idea of a Marxist communist America. That's not the idea of America. If you don't like liberty, El Plurus Unum, melting pot, and if you don't like the fact that we come together as one and the fact that we have ideas that come from God and rights that come from God, then all of a sudden you no longer love this country. Simple as that. And so let's first define America before we even go there. Let me know in your comments below. Are you happy? I'm sure you are. If you're watching this channel that Miss Barry lost came in second to last place. Come on. Also, what about what I said about competing at a level where you're not stepping a game up because you hate the country, allowing yourself to be susceptible to a loss from a team that actually does love their country. And if you like what we do in this channel, we take pop culture and politics and filter to you in a conservative manner. In other words, filter to your right. And please click the like and subscribe button and that bell icon so you don't miss any future content. And also there's a join button there that you can click to help support this channel. And lastly, if you like what we do in this channel and you want to see more, then you can click on some videos that we picked up for you right here.